Build a keyboard with one meter high keycaps. So it turns out your keyboard ideas still suck. Um, <laughs> surprising nobody. However, this time, I'm gonna be ranking them. Let's see how many ideas it takes for you guys to make something that I actually like. I think it will take a lot of ideas. You, there is some terrible <laughs> stuff I've been searching. Make a zip tie keyboard. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, what do you want me to... You know what, actually, I'm just gonna... Okay. Okay, K blockade 426. You think by commenting the same thing three times will get you what you want? Oh boy, oh boy. If you think I'm gonna make your dumb zip tie keyboard, my answer to your question is no. Oh. No. Oh, uh. No, I made the, th okay, let's move on. All right, next keyboard. Jamal says a keyboard, but it only types the letter A. These, <laughs> these ideas are terrible today, man. A keyboard that only types the letter A. I mean, it's really dumb, but I guess it's kind of funny. I guess I could see something interesting in that. Typing and it would just be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, we're gonna do it. Okay. Oh, this plate won't work. Oh my god. Right, we're in a glasses company, frugal era. This ain't no stupid bit where I'm going out and spending a million pounds on some stupid contraption that won't end up working. Actually, that happens later in the video, but. <laughs> Get a little bubble wrap, slap that PCB down in there. However, would you know your keyboard only types the letter A if your keycaps don't tell you? I have the solution for you. A? Yeah, and then. Oh. You could have guessed it. A again. Uh, ah. This is so stupid. How did I get to a point where this is what I do for a living? And there you have it, folks. A keyboard that only types the letter A. Are you happy now? It's so, it's, it's, it's so stupid. And not in a good, it's just dumb. Let's have a little gander over to the PC to my uh, most used site, monkey type. Ordinarily, little. Must stay cool, child. We just do a little swapsy wopsy. What we find is that. Oh, what, what? I can't type anything. Ordinarily, it wouldn't do this. Given this PCB is QMK enabled, I went into VIA and reprogrammed all of the key codes from whatever they were, QWE, doesn't matter, to the letter A. Ergo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is, doesn't get any funnier. Ah! Ah. Uh, ah. Bro, this is getting a zero out of 10, this is dookie. But then, I came up with a better way to illustrate this keyboard's purpose. Fraser, I have something to show you again. It's not, it won't stab you this time, I promise. Do you wanna come look at it? No. Hey, okay. all right, and look. It's kind of bad. <laughs> hey, number, number, number. Are you ready? <laughs> is he gonna show me? No, who knows? I'm so nervous. What are you nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts. What are you giving this one out of ten? <laughs> yeah, this is getting a zero out of ten. That was not as funny as I hoped it would be in my head. Anyways, a keyboard that will let me store my sweets so I don't have to get up and get more. Wait a second. This Twitter handle looks very familiar. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. My suspicions were correct. The prompt came from somebody I knew personally. So I decided to take the show on the road and find out more in person. Long time, right. long time. I need to give you a name uh, to hide your identity. We call you Jim. <laughs> you look like a Jim. All right, Jim. Explain yourself. I went this one up. Oh, nah, that's not real. Ah, that's, nah, that's nothing not to real. explain, huh? That tweet was kind of a joke, but it was also kind of real, but... Wait, first of all, what kind of sweets are we talking about? Like Haribo's or like... 
uh, mentors. Started out, you know, as a few, then they got onto, you know, multi packets. Uh, By yourself? Yeah. A friend at work caught me in, you know, one or two packets a day. I just want to cut back, you know. This is an unusual one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we can do something. I have to have a think though. Keyboard that helps with a mentor's addiction would require you to have a table. Bro, where's your, uh, do you not have like a desk or a table? I mean, no. What do you mean you don't have a, a desk? Just moved in recently. I mean, no desk. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. And with my goals more clearly defined, I got to work. So I was doing some research on healthy Mentos consumption and I found this medical website with no external links or sources said that really a packet of Mentos a day isn't that bad. But once you start having, you know, 20, 30 pieces, it gets a bit bad. What I need to do is figure out a keyboard that not only holds a single pack of Mentos, but also dispenses them in such a way where you become cognizant of the fact that you've had a tube of Mentos. Look at that. I was also thinking the idea of a sleep dispensing keyboard seems like a very 80s imagined futuristic gadget, like a flying plane or a flying plane. <laughs> I don't have any other examples. I am uh, gonna take some liberties and we're gonna go with a very vintage themed modern custom keyboard. It's gonna be. And with the keyboard sorted, the only thing left to figure out was desk. You're welcome. Well, actually, it's not me. It's Lexi Spot, you should be thinking. Sponsor of this video. Huh. You're looking at their E7 Pro, a sleek standing desk with a ton of ways to customize it to your liking. But it's not just looks, it's really well built. And with its thick steel legs, dual cross beam technology, and three stage upright structure, this thing is stable at any height and weight, bearing up to 440 pounds under normal load. The most any standing desk on the market can do. All right, okay, how do I get down? I'm scared of heights, please get me down. With a standing desk, you can choose to sit or stand whilst you work or game or eat your Mentos. This is the Mentos storing keyboard. By all means, it is a regular mechanical keyboard. However, here we have a pack of Mentos. If I spin this around, you will see a hole in it. Mentos, tube, keyboard. Mentos in keyboard. All you simply do is take your uh, Mentos hammer, trademark for glasses company. You're doing your work. Da -da 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 I take my Mentos hammer, I want another mentor. What am I gonna do? Da, 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 da. Oh, impressive! It's good. It's good, isn't it? That's cool, man. You really hate yeah. this. You really not. You. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. There's a reason why I've done it like this. If your issue is you're eating mentos and you're not noticing you're going through packs, I need to make it harder and more visible how much you're eating. So now that you have to actively stop what you're doing, take your Mentos hammer, trademark, you'll be able to visibly see just how many Mentos you're eating by how far this hammer goes into the keyboard. When you get to the end of your stack, your pack, right? This will be in the keyboard. You won't be able to swipe any and you'll realize, oh no, the Mentos, they finished. You'll know when to stop. And after that perfect demonstration, Jim had but one question. Like, what's stopping me from opening another pack of Mentos? Like, what, just putting another pack into? Like, no, nah, I mean, just opening another normal packet. Right. This is the point in a glasses video where I usually say something like, Oh, rats, you scallywag, you've defeated me with your clearly obvious loophole to my keyboard. But in actuality... I actually have a solution to that, and I promise you, you won't like it. If at some point you feel tempted to have another packet of Mentos, there will be dire consequences to doing that. I was convinced Jim wouldn't believe me, so I pretended to say my goodbyes, but actually regrouped with his housemate to observe his progress. He's already had like four, we've been out for like half an hour. And at the crucial moment, took another packet of Mentos. But I was right, I was right, man. I told you, multi-packs a day. He's going through with it. He actually did it. It's been like two hours. Oh my God. Okay, go, 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 go. We strike. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? We do. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Oh, come on, fuck me. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah, hurry up. Also, a couple of Mentos, huh? Look at you, tied to a table. Nah, it's mean. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, Jim, 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 Jim. You thought I wasn't serious, did you? There are consequences to your actions. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, I don't know, accent, I guess. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this, is it? Raise the table. <laughs> Why are you laughing? 
This is this is the comeuppance of attempting to have two mentos. You're not supposed to be having a good time. <laughs> Stop laughing! I think it's because the, the table is so stable, he feels safe. Darren Flexi spot for making such a good table. Honestly, just say you learned the lesson and I'll take you Alright, cool, I learned my lesson. <laughs> Right now on Flexi Sports Anniversary, get a 10% discount on orders above $500 and 50% off any ergonomic chair with a purchase of the E7 desk.